The Mountaineers take two of three from 10th ranked Oklahoma, beating the Sooners today in Charleston. Head coach Randy Mazie is here. Coach, we talked about the possibility of being in first place or at least in a tie for first place after this weekend, and, and here you are. How does that feel, the first place Mountaineers? Well, it's going to have to sink in a little bit, but you know, coaches and players, you, you like that stuff, but you try not to get caught up in it because as soon as you start feeling too good about yourself, then you run into a brick wall. So we told the guys today before the game that you put yourselves in this position to win this thing so you can never take a day off. Mediocre teams take days off, and take at bats off, and take pitches off, but now that you've proven yourself to, to be capable of winning this thing, you can't take a day off, and we didn't today. What you have to feel good about is how this team produced, particularly on offense. We saw that big eighth inning with all those two out runs, and we saw clutch hitting the two outs again take us through that third inning, and or the second inning today when, when West Virginia had its big inning. Well, you know, we, we scored uh, five that inning and, and still made it out on the bases. You know, we got thrown out at third base, so it potentially could have been bigger than that. But how do you walk off the field not feeling good about a five spot? So regardless of how we did it, our guys were just, you know, like I said, every time I challenge them, they, they step up to the challenge. And I told them that, you know, you, if, if there's two outs and nobody on base and an 0-2 count, you can't give up. They keep fighting and fighting and fighting. And the way this offense is, we can start a rally at any time, and we've done that with two outs in the last couple of days. John Means uh, struggled a little bit early, gave up runs in the first, but settled in. How did you think your starter performed today? You know, I didn't think his stuff was any worse than it's always been. Uh, I just thought they did a good job of hitting him today. You know, they. Uh, I looked up, and I think when the score was 6-2, to two, uh, they had 11 or 12 hits and only two runs at one point. So he, uh, we tell our pitches all the time that you throw your most important pitches out of the stretch, not out of the windup. And when guys got on base, uh, two or three guys got on base, that's when he seemed to make his best pitches. So he, he got into trouble, but he did an unbelievable job getting out of trouble. T-Zach and middle relief got, I believe, five outs for you, and then Corey Walter with that great four-out save. I mean, that that was tremendous and a great captain as well. Yeah, you know, when you get late in the game, when you get to the seventh inning and you got a lead, you just you count down the outs like the ball's dropping in Times Square, you know. And, and every time you get one, it's so valuable and they're so hard to get late in the game. And for Corey Walter to roll in there and challenge guys like he did, that, that's really going to help our team down the stretch. McBroom hits a late game home run to help you stretch that lead out. And we talked before the game about how the power has kind of come back a number of extra base hits today. Yeah, you know, and after he hits a home run, then we're in a first and third situation and he uh, sacrifices himself with a hit and run to hit a ground ball to the right side and get that all important three run lead going into the ninth as opposed to two. So uh, just got a bunch of unselfish guys on this team and, and uh, that's that's what championship teams are made of. All right, you've got some time to decompress now and soak all this in and prepare for next weekend. No games because of finals, but you win this series and then you're right back here against TCU. Uh, just talk about the week coming up. Obviously, a higher priority with these guys at final exams, but you'll be right back at it uh, down here in Charleston against TCU next weekend. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, people are going to come out and support us again. Uh, I've told uh, hopefully everybody in Charleston has seen me on the news and in the paper asking them to come out because they help us win. Uh, they give us energy. Our guys love playing in front of them. So by all means, come out and see us play. Uh, it's a little bit worrisome when you the first game come, coming off of final exams is always uh, knocking off some rust. Uh, so we've got to find a way to have a couple good practices this week while these kids are studying for finals. So uh, really happy where we are right now. we just got to keep grinding. All right, Coach, congratulations. Good job this week. Thanks, Kyle. Head Coach Randy Mazie following West Virginia's 9-6 win over Oklahoma a victory here in Charleston that gives West Virginia the series as they win two out of three against the Sooners.